Welcome! In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Ardroid 30 amp lithium iron phosphate battery charger. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So let's get this open. So here we have the charger. So we have some battery clamps here. We also have a direct battery connection. Pull this out. Here we have like a spec sheet of some sort. So here we have the manual. This goes over common faults, how to use it, has some specs in here. So this charger can wake up a BMS. So if your battery's reading zero, you have to almost like jumpstart it to charge it, but this can just take care of that. This has different protections built into it. You can read those here. This has an LED to indicate the charge level. So if it's red and flashing, it's charging. If it's green and flashing, it's nearly complete. When the green light is solid, it means it's fully charged. And this here shows the charge profile. So let's take a look at the charger. So it has this aluminum case around it. It has places for mounting screws. The bottom is flat. Now I'm not going to be mounting it, so I may throw some rubber feet on there. It has a fan here, your power socket and a switch. Turn that off until we plug it in. It does have a selector here for voltage. Mine says 110 out of the package. You wanna make sure you check that. Here's the light and we have vent there, fan here, and the whole thing's a heat sink. Let me get this cable off here. So this is the charge connector. So it has the option to hardwire it to your battery or to use battery clamps. So I'll be hardwiring it to my battery. Let me measure these cords real quick. The charge cords around 43 inches. Of course, when you add this on, it will take it to about four feet. And the power cable is around four feet. So let's get this connected up to my battery and test it out. So the battery I'll be charging today is this Weiss 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So I did discharge this last night. Let me pull my meter out. If I look at the voltage here, we're at 11.42. Now on the battery instructions, it says between 10.80 and 12.80, you're between one and 10%. So there's going to be a little bit of charge left in here, but this is about how far I would discharge it in regular use because this was the drop off voltage of when the inverter I was using turned off. But that can vary a little bit. I want to point that out because when I charge this, it will take a certain amount of time to charge, but if it was depleted a little bit more, it might take a little bit longer to charge, but shouldn't be a big difference. So I'll connect this up to the battery so you can use the clamps, but this is probably going to give you a little bit better connection. I'll plug the charger in. And I have a device here hooked up so I can monitor how much power this is drawing and how long it will run. So I'll plug that in and then I'll plug the charger into the battery here like so. Then to disconnect, I'll pull it apart. Okay, so everything is hooked up. I'll turn the charger on. It's kind of hard to see on here, but this light is now flashing. So my power meter is currently drawing around 424 watts. So I'm going to let that run. I'll come back when it's finished and I'll share the results of how long it took to charge. Okay, it's been a little over an hour since I turned this on and if I touch the charger, it's a little bit warm, but if it was a cold day, this wouldn't warm you up. And then the battery, not warm. The terminals, not really all that warm. Let me get the thermal camera out so you can actually see. Okay, so here we have a look with the thermal camera. We can see the side of the heat sink is probably the warmest part and it's around 97 degrees Fahrenheit. This wire over here is also about the same temperature. Battery terminals are around 80 degrees. Okay, so that finished charging. It actually finished charging quite a few hours ago. Let's head over to the computer and look at the energy monitor and we can get an idea how long this charged. So here I have a chart of the wattage pulled by the charger. So we started here at 8, 11 a.m. and then it reached the peak here at 11:30 a.m. and then it dropped from there. So I'm going to consider that's pretty much when it was finished. Although you could say, you know, 11.46 it was finished. We can do that. So I had this in this calculator and it said it ran for three hours and 19 minutes. We can up this to 45. So it was about three and a half hours to charge the battery completely. But then after it charged, it peaked here a couple times and then it seems to be drawing power maybe every half hour or so. But let me adjust this chart just a little bit. So the power dropped off here and then it was peaking, and then as you can see, it did spread out over time. 
So when it is not charging, standby current is about 3.7, 3.8 watts. So right now it's currently still plugged in, that's what it's drawing. So if you're using this as kind of like a battery tender to keep the charge up on your lithium battery, that's your power usage. And then if the load is pulled on the battery and draws the battery down, it will kick back on and start charging again. So that's the Ardroid 30 amp lithium iron phosphate battery charger. So this battery is eventually going to make it into my camper. Now I haven't upgraded the power center in my camper, so it's not technically compatible with lithium. It could charge this, but it won't be able to charge it all the way. I will have solar that can charge it all the way, but the sun may be out. So it's nice having this charger. I can hook it up to the battery before I go camping and top this off. Now in the winter time, I may take this out of my camper and I can store this in my basement. I could charge it up with this charger here and then hook an inverter up to it and use it for emergency power if I need to run a fridge or some other device during a power outage. So I like that this is a 30 amp charger. Now there are faster chargers, but it's not as great for the battery. 30 amp is a good balance point where you're getting a decent charge rate, but it's not putting too much stress on the battery. And I really like this connector here. So when I'm done, I can just disconnect this. I could leave this on the battery and then go take my battery and use it. And then when I want to charge, I can just plug it right back in. So if you're looking for a charger for your lithium iron phosphate battery, I think this is a great option. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.